good morning. It's another day. Glory be to our Maker, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the I am that I am, the Rose of Sharon, the Palm of Gilead, the God that is, that was, that is to come. Father, thank you this morning for giving us this privilege of life to enjoy. Lord, we thank you because you defeated Satan many years ago and you are still defeating him. And you gave us victory even when we least deserve it. You are faithful to your own word. You change it not. Lord, we thank you because we will continue to celebrate, sing the song of victory on every side in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. This morning, I want to look at a topic titled Petition, Not Repetition. Matthew 16, 13 to 15, Mark 8, 11, 25, Luke 9, 18 to 20. Mark 8, 24, 25, that's where we are reading from. And he looked up and said, I see men astray walking. After that, he put his hand again upon his eyes and made him look up and he was restored and saw every man clearly. Mark 8, 24, 25. Petition, not repetition. That is our topic. It was unusual for Jesus to inquire about the results of his ministry as he did in verse 23. It was even more unusual that Jesus lay hand on this man a second time. This is the only example in the New Testament where Jesus had to minister to any need more than once to manifest a total healing. Many people request things from God and then look at their circumstances to see if God answered their prayers. That is walking by sight and not by faith. If they can't see God answer in the natural realm, they pray again. This is not the way Jesus taught us to pray and receive. We can be certain Jesus didn't lay hand on this man a second time because he thought his father hadn't heard him the first time. Since the man received partial sight, it is evident that God's healing power was at work in him Jesus was not petitioning his father again for healing through his spirit. Jesus knew that unbelief was hindering a perfect manifestation of God's power in this man. And he simply gave him another dose of anointing of God. Satan may hinder, but he cannot prevail over someone who continue resisting him. Petition, not repetition. When you keep resisting the devil, not losing faith, your answer will surely come. Just like this man, there was element of unbelief in him. But that didn't make Jesus to lose his focus of his healing. But rather Jesus saw the inbuilt or rising of lack of belief in him. Rather, he has to release another set of anointing. In the same vein, when Satan is pressing us down, it is not time for we to begin to petition or repeating, no. It is time for we to apply the formula of faith, more faith to what we already have, to what we already have believed, to what we already ask of Him. Today, 
believe that you will receive when you pray and then continue to apply the power of God. No matter what your physical sense tells you, press in to such a degree that you can con confront anything that is contrary to what you have asked and overcome it. Perseverance in prayer is the key to overcoming Satan, not persuading God. God was persuaded the moment you pray his will and word in faith. I pray the Lord will bless his word in our hearts in Jesus' name. Amen. I remember Joshua Satohan. Join me tomorrow for another exhortation. Till then, stay blessed and stay safe.